right, Mexican Road Show supporters. Well, we're going to talk about The View, more specifically Joey Behar and their guest, their special guest, the lesbian extraordinaire herself, Rachel Maddow. Rachel Maddow had a meltdown on her show a while back because she thought if Trump got reelected, he would be uh, coming for her, right? Yeah, oh, he's going to lock up all these liberal pundits. There is not a prison big enough in this world to lock up all the liberal pundits out there, and I thought it was absurd, and frankly, well, I mean, you, 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 Trump's got bigger fish to fry, all right? He's got bigger fish to fry, most notably. He's got to get all the damn illegals the hell out of this country and try to get our economy and inflation back under control. He's not worried about you f tards. At all. Well, Joey Behart had Rachel Maddow on, and yesterday they talked about how scary they are of Donald Trump getting elected in the office. Don't worry. Proud Americans uh, promptly destroyed these two. Look at this one right here. Looking like straight-up Stephen Colbert. Yeah, Rachel Maddow, her uh, alter ego is Stephen Colbert. And... Uh, here's Nutcase Behar. Let's go. Um, so you said recently that you thought that you, as an outspoken critic, could be a target yourself. Some people think that sounds overdramatic, but I'm right there with you. I think that he is so um, vindictive yeah. that he will go after, however he has to, through the IRS, maybe, uh, or even uh, you know, uh, through sponsors to get us off the air, FCC. maybe, or you. Yeah. Um, how seriously should we be taking that? Well... Uh, so I was asked, am I worried about me? And my answer was, I'm worried about all of us. I'm no, yeah. no more worried about me than I am worried about everybody in the right. country. Yeah. I think it's bad to have somebody saying, give me as much power as you can in this country so I can use it to go after other Americans. So I can yeah. use it to go after these yeah. subhuman internal enemies and I'll yeah. destroy them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's just not a good system for anybody. And I don't think anybody's safe if that's the sort of basis on which he wants to get more well, power. Well, remember when Nixon had an enemies list? That was a proud moment for a lot of people if they were on the enemies yes. list. Maybe we need to turn it around like that. Well, I don't, I mean, I think that if he decides that he's going to go after you or, or me or anybody who's well known, um, you know, we have resources, we'll, be, we're, we'll likely be fine. But the, I, I think there's a pattern where he picks out individual people mm -hmm. and effectively terrorizes them. Yes. But yeah. I mean, there's yeah. Stormy Daniels wearing a bulletproof vest to yeah. get yeah. into it's the courthouse, when, right? Once you have political violence, you have fascism following that. Yeah. So it is amazing to hear what just came out of her mouth about somebody coming after her and then... They're worried that they would use, uh, he, he would use the power to go after citizens, yada, yada, yada. That is exactly what the left has done to Trump. They've put him, indicted him for all this crap. And they're literally trying to use the judicial system to get him locked up to move their political opponent out of the way. And in turn, a lot of Americans feel like they're on notice. Because, well, if they don't agree with you, maybe they'll show up at your doorstep. And this, hilariously, is what they think Trump would do? It's being done right now by the left that's in office. Let's keep it real here. Wow. I mean, that is wild. Pot, call, kettle, black. Uh, it's wild. These people are nuts. No way. Now, why would he do such a thing that they're trying to, that they try to do all the time to right-leaning outlets? Absolutely. Anybody that leans right, you're under fire right now. You are. Uh, I do agree with this statement. These people are just gaslighting, fear-mongering, and doing the most to try to scare voters into not voting for Donald Trump. Donald Trump was president previously and he didn't do any of these things that these people claim he will do absolutely we got four years of actual prior visual evidence uh trump's not worried about rachel maddow and joey behar i mean one could argue that if he wanted to win 49 states he could lock these two up and yeah he might win 49 states but we know that's not the way this works and that's not what trump does 
He has said, I'm going to allow my results to be my, quote, revenge on every everybody, right? He's not got time to go try to lock up Rachel Maddow and Joey Behar. It's so dumb. And I guess there are people out there that are literally terrified uh, of, of Trump doing this. Who would that be? Mark Hamill? Mark Ruffalo? I mean, those guys? I cannot imagine that everyday Americans are sitting around worried about this. In the state of the country that we're in right now? I mean, we got illegals raping 13-year-olds and killing mother of fives and all that sort of thing. And this is the concern. Stop that nonsense. It's hilarious that a woman named Joy is such a miserable human being. Same with Joy Reid. Agreed. Trump barely knows any of them exist. They are boring and insignificant. Why would Trump pull the plug on a satire channel? I mean, it's a good, great question. Joy Behar and Maddow, don't flatter yourselves. Trump has a country to save. He's not the least bit interested in you two. I guarantee you that. Quit the fear mongering. Jesus. They must think people are idiots. I mean, seriously. I guess there are people that watch these these two shows. I mean, maybe they're scared to cancel them because of, uh, well, you got one that's part of the LGBT elemental P community and another one that uh, has a black host in Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, maybe they're worried about backlash. And that's why they're still on the air. Uh, it's crazy. As completely intolerable as they are, I'm sure they are not going to be forcibly taken off the air. I'm surprised anyone watches them, though. Uh, Trump's got no time for these folks. None. They're afraid Trump will do all the things that they actually do, that they're actually doing right now as we speak. Two more reasons to vote for him. It would, it would certainly be motivation to vote for the man. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you there. Seriously. Oh, this is a low blow. I thought Matthew Perry died. Oh, let's not do that to Matthew Perry. I'm telling you, that's Stephen Colbert up there. That looks just like Stephen Colbert. They will do that themselves. How is anyone still watching this show? Fear-mongering. He didn't go after them when he was president the last time. Is Joy actively trying to campaign for Trump? <laughs> Gaslighting. No one is asking for more power than the presidency already has. It won't be lawfare. It will be lawful. We are not the same. Uh, He's not trying to be a dictator. Uh, regardless of that one little tiny clip that was taken totally out of context that all you morons played a million times. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, seriously, and they're trying to go after everybody. They got rid of Tucker, Alex Jones, ran Twitter until Elon, and now think Republicans are petty and vindictive as they are. This might be the understatement of the century. Liberal white women, the absolute worst of the worst. I don't get it. I mean, liberal white women are l loony. They, they almost, they, they're like a visual case for mental health. Uh, struggles. It really is. They're like, I mean, they could be in every mental health commercial. There is something very amiss with uh, liberal white women. They're lunatics. They're out of control. Speaking of, what's crazy is, I think it was the New Yorker or one of these magazines wrote a hit piece on Republican women. And if you get a chance, go out and check that out. I mean, the things, the awful things they said about women that vote Republican is, uh, it's, it's gross. It really is gross. So, after watching that, Joy Behar and Stephen Colbert, I mean, Rachel Maddow, believe Trump is going to go after them. Do you believe this? Do you believe that Donald J. Trump is, is so petty that he is going to forcibly go get Joy Behar and Rachel Maddow off the air slash Stephen Colbert. These people are nuts. They really are, folks. They're dangerous. They're on TV every day spouting this nonsense. And somewhere, somehow, a white liberal woman is watching this crying while wearing a mask. Sitting by herself in her own home. 
with a Dr. Fauci poster on the wall. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.